Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. Pretty lucky when we can call this the office. Today, that's exactly what it is. It's the gazebo at Tainamara. We're spending some time with executive chef Eric Edwards. Invasive plants in Nanaimo's Planta Park. David Jilks doing it the natural way and Canadian keeners, eh? You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We spent some time in the kitchen at Tainamara for Mother's Day, spoiling and pampering mothers in our lives. Today it's all about fathers because Father's Day is coming up on June the 15th. And the theme for today, Eric, I think it's safe to say, is making dad look like a superstar. Well, they have to. How are we going to do that? What have Just, you got here? We're going to do some things, a few things. We're going to do some pork ribs, easy ways to do it, a gourmet baked potato, some lovely grilled veg. We're going to do a lovely pie. We're going to do some lovely spot prawns, local right now. A lovely piece of ahu, ahi tuna. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Fabulous. And a watermelon salad. Is watermelon that what salad, some lovely it's buccacini salad with some lovely local tomatoes. Mm. And I wish that you could smell the mint. Smell a vision. It's coming it is, out okay. next week. Check We're back working next on it, week. you and I, right? Yep, we'll okay, check we're going to set week. you up with smell a vision and taste a vision. We'll be quickly after that. We're going to throw things over now to Jocelyn Matwee. Nanaimo is home to many beautiful green spaces, but like many of the parks, Planta Park has become victim, if I can say that, to many invasive species. There's a group who has been working hard since 2002 to clear the area of invasive species and bring back the natural native plants in the area. Here's Jocelyn Matley. There are lots of ways that you can get together to control invasive species. They do that here at the Tainamara. They'll be clearing out the broom here by the time you visit the gazebo next time. You can get information on a comprehensive list of invasive species at the City of Nanaimo website. Chef Eric Edwards making fathers look like a superstar on June the 15th and salad? Guys eat salad, right? Well, we're going to do some salad because fresh, fresh. It's all about summer, fresh in colors. Putting different flavors together to make something look nice, also taste nice. Okay, now what have you got in there? I so smell got the in there, So we've got mint, basil, salt, pepper. I've got a white balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. I've got your grapes, um, strawberries, and watermelon all tossed together. smell a vision smells great. I would never Can think to good? put those things together. You're mixing fruit and vegetables, really. Well, you are, but it's going to look just beautiful. So you can take that on and take some beautiful fresh feta. Wow. Throw that in. Okay. So that's one type of salad. And this is this an appetizer? Is it on a side no, of that the would, plate? I would go that right through. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Just like that. Yeah, life's rough. You make it look so easy, it's, though. It is easy. easy. It's, it's just putting fresh flavors together. And then what kind of salad have you got right. going on here? I'm going to do a bocconcini and tomato salad. I'll put this over here for you. Yeah. Okay. So you take your lovely fresh tomatoes. You're going to put some whatever bocconcini. You can get some local bocconcini. You can, I know Natural Pastures is down up in Courtney. And you just layer that through. Different tomatoes things. aren't quite coming out of the ground locally Not yet. Not locally yet. These are hothouse from Vancouver. Okay. Fraser Valley. We're going to put a little bit of vinegar on there, balsamic. The simple, simple things can have yep. the greatest impact because it's it's. And this is clean. easy. So you've got your salads can be done in the morning. So all this can be looked like a superstar, right? You get it all ahead, done ahead of time, and then you just bring it on out. Okay. Now another thing that you have to prepare ahead of time, partially, is the meat, right? The meat, yeah. And we've got a lot of meat on the barbecue today. We're going to share with you how you can help Dad prepare the meat. So when it comes down to having those guests over for Father's Day, he just has to shine. We'll be back with more after a short break. Still to come today, a bodybuilding champion prides himself on doing it all naturally. Keeners, eh? Canadian expressions and celebrating the Volkswagen. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're here outdoors at the Tainamara Seaside Spa and Resort. Not a bad day at the office, eh? It's pretty nice. Yes. Pretty nice. Come on down, pay them a visit sometime soon. Now, one of the things with barbecuing potatoes, everybody wants baked potatoes, but it takes hours, doesn't it? Doesn't that look nice? It does. Oh, it does. I love the skin. Some people peel the skin off, but that's the best part. i got a better part. way to do it. Okay. So you bake ah. potato the, head, the day ahead. You take your potato, make a stuffed potato, take sour cream, take some butter, 
take bacon because everybody loves bacon. Right. You eat local blue cheese from Little Qualcomm ah. Cheese Works because it's the best. You stuff your potato, and then when you're doing your barbecue, you warm it up slowly in your barbecue. And I don't know about you, but that looks a little nicer than that. It and does. And every man loves pork. Right. Okay, but you, you're not a big pork fan, I'm but not, that's a but whole that's other okay. story. That's okay. One of the biggest challenges that people have when barbecuing is knowing when something's done. Yeah. And you can like hack it apart and cut down with a knife and that just doesn't look My good. My local health department's going to be so happy with me. <laughs> Give your, your husband or your father for, mother, for Father's Day a meat thermometer. Check your temperature. Look it up what temperature should be cooked to. I'm not going to tell you the different temperatures, but it'll save someone's life. Okay. You don't want to do a barbecue at home, and how's a burger going to be done? And you, you're certainly cutting the burgers. Mm -hmm. Temperature, time temperature, check your temperatures. Everyone will have a great barbecue season. Excellent. So I'm seeing a bit of a package here. You can make Dad look like a superstar by giving him as a gift the temperature gauge, pre-doing all of kind of the legwork cooking that we're looks showing great. you how and to do. And he looks wonderful. He and stands then he there. brings it all out. We don't have the beer bucket. Not yet. But there might be a beer bucket <laughs> for Dad. <laughs> Yes, okay, I think I want to be invited to this party. That's a gift for Father's Day, and we have a gift for you, too, as well. Uh, Tina Morrow is hosting a Father's Day brunch from 9 until 2 on June the 15th. And if you pay attention to some of the dishes that we're cooking, you could win a family gathering at the Father's Day brunch here at the Tainamara family of four. All you need to do is visit our Facebook page, Shaw TV Nanaimo, or the Tainamara Facebook page, and then share by posting one of the dishes that you've seen us prepare here today, and that's up for a Father's Day brunch for the entire family, yep. family of four. Beautiful. A gift for you. We're gonna throw things over now to a man who knows how important food is when staying healthy and fit. It's not other than David Jilks. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Father's Day coming up June the 15th. Not too early to start planning what you're going to do. We're helping you make your father or a father look like a superstar today. And pay close attention because we are giving away brunch for four. You can bring the family down to Sunday brunch at the Tainamara on June the 15th. If you can tell us one of the things that Chef Edwards is going to prepare. And we couldn't make it any easier because what have you got right here? Pork tenderloin. <laughs> So it's pork, this is idea. So what you get yourself, how you display something on a barbecue, let's use wood. So you get yourself a nice little cutting board, we're gonna use that as the plate. Now the how long gonna, was that cooked for? That's gonna be cooked for, let's say about 10 minutes, turning it, marinated with, marinated with orange, orange juice, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, thyme. All Toss on the that. barbecue? I, I marinated it earlier, about a day ahead, okay. and then just slowly sear it in the barbecue. Okay, easy. And, it, and it's easy. So we're gonna take some lovely portobello mushrooms, so the portobello mushrooms idea is you take your portobellos from the store, you want to take your back side off. I've heard of people yep. skinning mushrooms Skinning before. it. You want to take your top, take a spoon and just skin this out. And then you're going to be something like that. Otherwise it gets quite bitter. And so people put those in burgers. People like put almost them in burgers. Like that, right? You can make a vegetarian burger yeah. out of there with a the lovely pesto with blue cheese from Little Qualcomm. Um, <laughs> he really likes yeah, Little Qualcomm cheese works, I, I think. Do. They do a great job. So I've just got some lovely cherry tomatoes that have been roasted. I've got a tomatillo, which is a beautiful for color. I've taken our lovely dad's baked potato. That's going to go on there. And just some different veg, whatever you've got. We roasted a little bit of pepper, zucchini. Oh, that looks so good. And you do and pay see, attention to color. You have to be Because it is about the presentation. To. It is about presentation. It's about presentation. So the ribs, what I did with the ribs Still is... Still on the pork thing. We're here. on the pork thing. So the ribs are basically cooked. Now, how do you cook your ribs? In the so oven? What I did, I put them in the oven. I marinated them for a day. Also, the idea is your favorite barbecue sauce. So if, even if it's store-bought, it doesn't matter. Okay. Take it, tweak it up. A little orange juice, a little molasses, a little of your favorite brandy, Jack Daniels, whatever you want to put in there. Beer so you've from got your beer, bucket. beer, even your beer, reduce your beer down, put it in your, so the pork ribs, you're just glazing them on the barbecue. They look like a million dollars. Now what I do is I put them sort of fat side down in a baking dish and I bake them in the oven for like an hour and a half on a low heat before I barbecue them. And I, that's, mm, it could be better. What would you do differently? You'd cook for like nine hours? No, about three, three hours. On there was what? a slow, on a slow, we're like a 250 degree oven. Okay. Yeah, but we're using commercial convection oven. Right. So it, it gives a little bit more oomph. Oomph. Okay, oomph. no wonder I can't make ribs oomph. at home like I have in the restaurants. So you've got, oomph. once again, you've got your lovely presentation with your fresh veggies, and then you go in your garden. What do you got this bright? 
I know, man, it's flowers, but we're still going to do it anyway. They're still manly colors. They're still manly a deep colors, purple right? And a, and a yellow or pretty manly colors. You put your fresh herbs on there too. Now, would those be edible? You wouldn't put anything on your plate that's not Nothing, edible. Nothing. Never. That's not. You can eat those, and okay. you can eat the rosemary. Great. You might get caught in your, but you can eat the rosemary. Might too. not be graceful, yeah. but you could try. But two different pork dishes, different ways. Now you can take that same pork dish, and you can put a lovely fresh mango salsa on it. Oh, you've got mango in there. Yep. I mangoes, thought it was corn tomatoes, at first when I no. saw. No, mangoes, cherry tomatoes in there. Yep, and then you can put a little bit of hot sauce in there, a little cilantro, and now you've got yourself a perfect summer dish. That looks so good. And we were just saying that uh, Chef Eric Edwards goes all out, but there's more. We're going to talk seafood on the barbecue after we come back from looking at something that maybe identifies us as being Canadian. You're watching Go Island, Shaw TV Channel 4. Don't forget to pay attention, not that you aren't always, because if you can name one dish and post it on the Shaw TV Nanaimo Facebook page or the Tainamara Facebook page, you will be entered into a random draw for a family brunch for four here at the Tainamara on Father's Day. We have pork, we have salads, we have vegetables, we Ahi have tuna. potatoes, and we have... Ahi tuna, just been slightly marinated and roasted and then some beautiful fresh spot prawns. How long did you cook the tuna for? Uh, about two minutes on each side. Okay, on the barbecue, the whole on thing? On the barbecue. You can marinate it in your favorite marinade ahead of time. Oh. Again, so with the mango that. salsa. And a little mango salsa, because it's the season, right? It's fresh, it's summer, and they, all the dishes go well together. Okay, and what? Oh, we, we, we have to have a piece of pie. Okay, we can't We can't forget. go without the pie. We cannot forget the pie. So while we remember to not forget the pie, don't forget about the Volkswagen Beetle. The VW Club meets at the South Parkway Plaza on the first Tuesday of every month at 7 o'clock and they're having their annual show on June the 29th at Rona in Nanaimo's South End. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island, dishing out Your the... Your piece is the bigger piece. My piece is the bigger piece, a man after my own heart. If you can tell us one dish that Chef Eric Edwards from the Tainamara has helped you uh, prepare to help you make a dad look like a superstar and you can post that on our Facebook page, Shaw TV or the Tainamara, you can be entered to win a brunch pass for four people on Father's Day. Now that's just not normal whipped cream, is it? What oh, have you got in there? It's got a little Grand Marnay, a little bit of uh, vanilla. And okay. It's got to have a little bit of fun. Okay, I almost, no, never mind. Okay, we will, um, eat some pie. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. <laughs>